India's artificial intelligence story just got a major upgrade. Last week, an Anthropic CEO Dario Modi had landed in India and met with Prime Minister Narendra Modi. He called India essential to the future of AI and for good reason. From global labs setting up shop in Bengaluru and Delhi to a government mission aiming to turn India into an AI superpower, the country is fast becoming the world's backroom for artificial intelligence. But can it move from building for others to building for itself? Can India lead the next digital revolution? Our next report tells you more. Dario Amode, the CEO of Anthropic, landed in India last week. He met Prime Minister Narendra Modi. He spoke of India's billion-strong population and called the country's role in AI's future essential. But the photo op told a bigger story. Anthropic's planned Bengaluru office isn't just another foreign expansion. It shows that the world's AI labs now see India not as a market to sell to, but as a machine to power their next phase of growth. And Anthropic is not alone. OpenAI registered in India this year and plans its first New Delhi office soon. Perplexity and Google have made advanced features free for Indian users. It is betting that accessibility will build loyalty and perhaps a steady talent funnel. Decades ago, India's IT revolution built the digital plumbing for the world. Data processing for American banks, coding for European multinationals, tech support for everyone else. Now, the story is repeating with artificial intelligence. India's engineers label the data that trains global models. They fine-tune, debug, and deploy the tools that make AI usable. One in four AI projects on GitHub now originates from India. And with a developer base topping 15 million, the country has become the world's cheapest, most reliable engine for AI development. From Palo Alto's perspective, India isn't just a market. It's also a backroom that hums all day. But here's the problem. As global companies pour in, India's own AI talent pipeline is leaking. For every 10 AI job openings, there's only one qualified engineer. Only 15 to 20% of the tech workforce can actually work with AI. Generative AI, MLOps, data science have a shortage so deep it's reshaping hiring across the industry. The causes aren't hard to find. There is outdated college curricula, limited exposure to research-intensive work, and a near-obsessive focus on rote coding instead of problem-solving. And when India does produce top-tier AI talent, they often leave. Engineers and coders are lured by higher pay, better labs, and the prestige of working at Google DeepMind or OpenAI. So the Indian government has launched its most ambitious digital push yet. The India AI Mission. It aims to build sovereign AI infrastructure, fund homegrown model development, and integrate AI education into schools and universities. There's even talk of national data commons and an AI skills passport. It will be co-developed by Microsoft and Ernst & Young to certify millions of workers in job-ready AI skills. The hope is to close the skills gap, stem talent migration, and shift India's role from the AI world's backroom to its front office. And perhaps this time, India's story won't be about following but leading. From call centers to code bases, the country has powered every digital revolution that came its way. Now, with AI, it has the chance to shape one. If the 2000s were India's IT decade, the 2030s could well be its AI decade. If India can bridge its skills gap and back its own builders, the next wave of AI breakthroughs might not just happen in India. They could be made in India. Want the facts? The latest developments? News that gets straight to the point. Well, we've got all three just for you. This is First Post Live, a brand new show. Your window into what really matters. Don't miss it.